What is up, everybody? It's your boy, Life on Wheels. If you guys have been following my um, social media, uh, especially on Facebook and Instagram, I have been posting a lot of pictures of motorcycles. And the reason being is because I think I am ready to get another motorcycle. And if you guys are really not up to date, um, I did get rid of the Harley Davidson already, so I no longer have the Sportster, and it's been a while. Yeah, so I had a hard time trying to decide which motorcycle I was gonna get. Uh, I posted a um, Duke 890, a Super Duke 1290R, a Yamaha XSR 900, and the new 2021 MT-10. Now, the thing with the MT-10 is that they don't have it in stock here yet. So if I wanted it, I would have to order one and then they would have to ship it. So that was the thing. And really not in a rush trying to get a new bike, but that would be the process if I wanted a MT-10. I would have to order it. It, it was a hard decision. It was a very hard decision. Um, just something about the the naked bikes that I like a lot, and it, it's good for the streets. Uh, a lot of uh, street riding. I love it. So those four choices of mine, I had to think it over, and then eventually something good happened that made me decide which bike I was going to get. Which bike? You guys don't have to wait. Well, lucky thing for you guys, you guys don't have to wait that long. As for me, I gotta wait for like a week or two weeks. But for you guys, um, I should be at the port picking up the bike like right now. All right, so I'm here at Young Brothers picking up my bike now. And yeah, I'm pretty excited. Oh man, here at the port. Yee! Let's go. I'm gonna go over there. My bike is somewhere in one of those containers. <laughs> Alright, so. Just to get my paperwork to the guy. So I'm gonna try to go look for it and have one of the guys drop it off, I believe, here, in the front. And I know it's gonna be a pallet, so I'm gonna have to um, unwrap it and unstrap it and all that stuff, so. Yeah. All right, so the bike has already arrived. Uh, the guy just dropped it off. Actually, I have one of the guys from Young Brothers helping me out to uh, unwrap and unstrap the bike. And, um, you know, they said when you're trying to choose between bikes, either you go big or you go home. But kind of went differently on this rock. I went big and I'm going home with it. And ladies and gentlemen, a new bike. There you go. It's the Super Duke 1290R. Yeah, right there. Don't want to help the butt out. Unstrap them, unwrap them, and then get this thing out of here. Have fun. All right. Let's go ahead and help this guy out. What are you doing again, man? Chris. Chris. Chris is going to help me out. Unstrap the bike. Alright, 
All right, so I'm all set to go. I have to leave because then uh, I got work in about an hour. But yeah, I'll be riding this bike to work. And yeah, pretty stoked. I thought it was gonna be a lot bigger, but it's actually not that bad. And I thought I was gonna be fatter, but it's actually skinny. You can actually see the bike. It's it's almost as skinny as the Duke 390, except the tank is a little bit actually bigger. And look at that. It's got a fob key. Wait, with key in it. Well, yeah, I was reading the manuals, so there's no ignition to it. Everything is through this fob key right here. Yeah, good stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and play with it for a little while and uh, see you guys in a bit. Mm. We're recording, recording? Yes, sir. Uh, all right, so I was gonna drive off already or right off already, but I forgot I have to put the mirrors on. It actually looks way better without the mirrors, but yeah, I gotta put them on. feels pretty high <laughs> it was not that bad actually and the bike is so fucking light oh my god the bike is so light can't believe this is 1300 cc oh. okay okay here we go okay john you know if i turn them on or what here you go okay you press it once you should turn on here you go the screen is a lot smaller than, um, or a little bit smaller than the Duke 390. Okay, and then you press it one more time. Wait, one more time. <clears throat> I was trying to read the manual last night. And you're supposed to tap this, then turn on. And then... There you go. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be bigger. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm pretty stoked right, right now. <laughs> yeah, that, that's why I got it too. I want it to be different. <laughs> so you got four miles. All right, man. All right. Oh, you know what? I get gloves too. So excited I forgot to have gloves bro I gotta wear gloves well anyways um, I'm gonna go take this thing for a spin uh, mad shout out to uh, Jeff from Kaiser motorcycles in Kailua Kona uh, shout out to Chris Christopher over here um, and of course shout out to KTM thank you very much for making this happen appreciate it uh, yeah I'm Freaking happy right now, man. <laughs> happy, excited, nervous, everything. Shit. But yeah, I'm gonna go take this beast for a spin. And while I'm riding, I'll try to see what name I wanna name this thing. It has to be something beastie. <laughs> no, I don't think it's gonna be beastie. But something. Some name that's hard, you know, something that describes this bike. Ooh, we need some cleaning too. Got too much dust already. Anyway, let's go take this bike for a spin. Oh, oh, fuck! Even the lever, it feels short. What the? Oh, what? Okay. I have to feel the clutch first. Gotta figure out which way to go. Which way, which way, which way? Follow the arrows. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, it feels smooth. 
Oh, which way am I supposed to go? Oh, 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 shit. Bro, I don't even know which way I'm supposed to go. Okay, gotta be this way. I think. Alright! Let's go take this bad boy for a spin. Oh, this way. Yeah. Oh, the clutch feels short. I don't know if it feels. I don't know if it's short or just the placement of it. I don't know. Right now, it feels short. But the clutch feels good, though. It feels real smooth. Um. So I'll go this way. Oh my God! I can't believe this is a freaking 1290R. 1300 CC feels so light. It literally feels like the Duke 390. That's how it feels like right now. Nimble. You wouldn't even think you have 1300 cc on underneath this thing. Oh, letting me go. All right. Thank you, brother. Yee. I going. I going. I going. Out of here. <laughs> yes sir here we go I'll try not to go crazy here still gotta break it in oh this feels nice though oh finding neutral easy easy just like the Duke 390 <laughs> I want to try mess with these things like, I, I want to mess with it but I might just fuck it up <laughs> I want to try to go to a gas station and put some gas because I got about one third of gas. Thank you Kaiser Motorcycles for that. <laughs> but you guys could have just went full tank. <laughs> so right now I'm in mode. Uh, the mode I'm in right now is sport. And it actually feels smooth. I was watching the reviews and they said that it's twitchy and I don't know. It's scary, they said, but I guess they've never ridden a motorcycle before. That's why they feel that way. <laughs> or they just don't have much experience. I, I've ridden different motorcycles. I've ridden an R1. I own the R1. I have an R6. I've ridden a Aprilia. I've ridden an R1. I've ridden an MT10. So, pretty familiar with um, big, you know, displacement bikes. And pretty familiar what they can do but this has to be the biggest one um, I did ride a uh, BMW S 1000 R not the double R just the single R uh, the naked version and that one felt smooth too but this thing feels like I don't know it, it feels like a Duke 390 really like it feels so nimble it feels so I don't know nimble oh shit okay I feel it I feel it now holy shit <laughs> okay I know what they're talking about now kind of went hard on the throttle a little bit and almost threw me off <laughs> oh man I am stoked but I can't believe this I still can't believe this is 1300 cc it feels so smooth ah Oh man, to be honest, I, I was kind of intimidated, you know, seeing the bike, watching reviews and all that stuff. I was like, oh man, it looks scary, you know, <laughs> can I handle this bike? But it's actually very forgiving. It's a fun bike, that's for sure. Okay. I'm pretty sure the guy in the truck is looking at my bike right now. I don't want to look. I see you looking, bro. I see. You. Gotta fix the mirrors. Mm. Oh yeah! <laughs> Every time I hit the throttle, man, it's so smooth. It's a very light bike. It's actually not even heavy. I feel like the R6 is a lot heavier than this. 
So this is 400 something pounds. With the way it's built and the way I'm sitting and the way I'm, you know, when I was standing with the bike, it really didn't feel like I had 400 pounds of weight underneath me that I have to try and balance. It just feels so light. Look at this. Say what? Oh my God, I feel like this is gonna be like a cornering machine. <laughs> Man. Oh, God. Oh, it wants to dip. <laughs> yeah. Oh, don't worry, I'm not gonna race you, man. My bike's brand new. But wait, though. One day, I'll see you out on the freeway again. Make sure you won't ever do that to me again. You'll feel dumb doing that. Trust me. <laughs> uh, oh, let's hit the freeway. Alright, let's go. I'm on third gear going 50 miles per hour. And I got like three more gears to go. <laughs> oh. I'm at 6,000 RPM. Okay, fourth gear. Fourth gear. <laughs> 67 miles per hour, fourth gear. Oh my god. I guess the torque on this thing is so strong. Like, I could probably pull the throttle on fourth gear going 60 and then, you know, it would just pick up. Do I want to do that though? Like right now? I want to, but I know I shouldn't. <laughs> it's because I still need to bring it in. So I got it from the port with four miles and now I got seven miles on here. Wait, that's the trip meter though. Okay, let's try see. Okay. I know I shouldn't be doing this while I'm on the road, right? But how do you do it? How do you, oh, sports mode on. Let's leave it on sports. I can handle it. Um, let's see. How do, I, how do I change that? No, I think, I don't think that's a trip meter. No, I think that's just, I think that is the, the, the mileage of uh, how much it ran already. Because I think the trip meter would be darker. I don't know. I don't know, man. I'll be honest with you. I actually fell asleep last night trying to read the manual. <laughs> That's what happened. Oh, dude. Let's just try. Let's just try. Oh! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> that was fourth gear. Fort gear, 5,000 RPM, 60 miles per hour. I will pull the throttle on Fort gear and let's see the power of this thing. Oh, God! <laughs> oh, I'm going 80 already. What? <laughs> oh, God. Okay, let's try this one. Uh, fifth gear, let's go 60 miles per hour. Okay, let's try do a quick pull from fifth gear, 60 miles per hour, about 4,000 RPM, and oh, oh shit, 88, 89, what? Holy shit! I fucking love this bike. The power, the torque. Oh, but you know what? As I was going through that that torque, that that power, it, it was very controllable. Like, I mean, it wanted to throw me off the bike, but I don't know. With the way I position and everything, I feel like you would you you'll be safe. Because then, uh, when I did it on fourth gear and I tried to pull the throttle, well, I actually did. I pulled the throttle and. I felt like I was gonna fall back, but the way I'm seated right now, I'm actually locked in. Like, it feels good. 
So we'll see. Six gear, 59, 60. Once it hits 60, 3,000 RPM and pull. Hey, oh, 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 90 miles per hour. <laughs> From six gear, 3,000 RPM. And by the time I hit 90, I was at 4,000 RPM. Holy shit. <laughs> I love this bike! Oh man! Alright! I am stoked! See, I'm on 6 gear going 68 miles per hour. I feel like I should drop a gear. I feel like I'm, I'm too high on the gears right now. Like, I feel the bike starting to shake. Like, it feels like the RPM is too low for 6 gear at 70 miles per hour. So I'll jump to 5th gear. 70 miles per hour. 4,000 RPM. And it feels smooth. It smooth is up. 70 miles per hour, 4,000, no, 5,000 RPM. And I'm on cruise mode, fifth gear. I got one more gear to go. Wow. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Love this bike. Yeah. I can't believe this. It's this crazy. It's just crazy. I got a fob key. It's got a key in it though, just in case of emergency. Um, it, it's a push start, and a push start. It, it, it's a uh, yeah. I don't even know what to say. I'm out, I'm out of words. Like I don't even know where I don't, I don't even know where to start or what to talk about this bike. I'm just overwhelmed by it right now. Holy crap! Oh. And I think the handlebar is just right. It's almost the same size as the Duke 390 or it could even be the same size as the Duke 390. Like, if you're gonna ride, if you wanna ride a Super Duke 1290R, you'll be fine coming out of a Duke 390. Like, the Duke 390 is pretty torquey already. Uh, especially if you tune it right, like the way I have it, like the, the low RPMs or, or the bottom or is it top? No, bottom end is very torquey. So with this bike, it's actually smoother on the throttle. And this is on sports mode. This is not even street mode or I think it was rain mode or something like that. But yeah, there's two other modes that are just like pussier <laughs> or, or more softer. <laughs> but yeah, man. It, 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 it's intimidating at first, but once you ride it, it's so much fun. And <laughs> I've been smiling from the time I got on this bike till now. I, I've just been smiling. I'm. It, ah, I love this bike. Period. I love it. I fucking love it. Uh, I think I made the right choice. So for those of you guys who was watching my, uh, so for those of you guys. Who has been following me on uh, Facebook and Instagram? Um, yeah, this is the bike. It's Super Duke 1290R, not the MT10, not the XSR 900, and not the Scapple Duke 890. I almost went with the Duke 890. Uh, they actually have it at Kaiser too. And then, um, well, for sure I wasn't gonna go with the 790. I don't know why I would go for that. If it's just like what, one grand, two grand more? for like 100 more cc's so yeah and this is it this is the bike this is the shit <laughs> oh man i'm stoked okay i gotta take it easy i forgot oh, i was about to make a run for it here but i forgot it's it's new it, it's, it's brand new so i have to take it easy <laughs> Well, that's it for this vlog. I am almost... Oh, I just pressed the horn. Oh, crap. Okay. So anyways, that's it for this vlog. Um, I'm very happy with the purchase. Shout out to Jeff again from Kaiser Motorcycles. 
and shout out to Chris from Young Brothers for helping me unwrap and unstrap the bike and mad shout out to KTM thank you very much for building such a awesome bike and I'm low on fuel so I have to put fuel uh, <laughs> yeah uh, yeah man uh, that's it Thank you very much for watching. I'm gonna go ahead and have a little more fun with this thing. All right, shoots.